So the first thing that you guys need to do is you need to come up with a business plan. <laughs> yeah. And the business plan is going to help you guys, you know, um, dig a little bit deeper into what you want to accomplish or what you want to see accomplished. Once you get the business plan together, then you will spring into action with creating a budget. And the budget is going to allow you to determine how much money you need for X, Y, and Z to make A, B, C, and D happen. You know? So, um, you know, you will need to get some people to come in and help you with the business plan and get some people to help you with the budget. Um, for myself, um, when I first got started, because um, I went to Full Sail, I have learned how to create a business plan. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, just real quick. Before we, before we even like the business plan say, because I don't even, it is, you have to know, right, you have to know exactly what you're doing, right, at first, right? Like, what do you want? Right. Like, what do you see, right, before you come to the business plan, right? Right. Because all that goes into the business plan. Yeah, because I think that's what, like, I don't even think we have at that point yet, because it's like, we haven't, I don't know if we really decided, you know what I'm saying, on, like, what we actually doing. Like, you know what I'm saying, as far as what we originally, like, what we originally had like, set out, you know what I'm saying, when sure. we were talking. Well, yeah, like, Chase, if you can, like, I think one of the places we get held up is, like, you know, can we use the business plan creation part of it for planning or like how do we how do we get to that place where we can plug stuff into the plan because i think you know again like we just we talk a lot we talk a lot and then like you know the actions are are you know less so so like you know how do you how, how do you set yourself up to then get real formal and and real you know correct all right, all right. so just let's i'm sorry what's your Deshaun. Deshaun. So just listen to Deshaun. Yeah. You know, I was going to suggest that everything that you're thinking of, you know, you can actually, you know, um, put that on paper and then you can form your business plan that way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, yeah, because see, a lot of stuff that you're thinking about is going to go in that business plan. You know, so as you, you know, your thoughts or your mission statement of what you guys want to, uh, want the event to represent, that could be the mission statement. Mm -hmm. you know, then you guys can just go from there. You know, mm -hmm. so everything you're thinking of will be your business plan. Okay. So I, use, I use this guide. It's a really old book, and it's called Successful Conferences and Meetings. Oh, I have that book. <laughs> yeah. So the the good thing about this book is putting it all into action. Putting it all into action. You know, and uh, this book talks about you know your budget. You know what all you you know it just gives you an example. You know, a checklist for budget. It's called Successful Conferences and Meetings. That's old school. That's been around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, this book has helped me with um, planning my conferences and actually getting my budget together to a point to where I was able to bring someone in and help me, like, really fine-tune the budget. You guys need to figure out where you want to have it. And once you figure that out, then you need to be able to go and get your permits to have the event on the street. Once you do that, you know, and find out, do the research because, you know, it's going to cost you some money. You know, so you guys need to do a lot of research and figure out how much, what's going to cost you guys and come up with a budget. Once you come up with a budget, then you guys can start figuring out what you guys are going to do to raise the funds. So that's pretty much how it goes. Peace tones.